Hello, I'm the producer Damian Merle, and welcome into my world. So today, I want to walk you through the steps that uh, I took in uh, producing a song. Um, I produced a song about three and a half to four years ago, this particular song, and uh, I got a call from an independent record label, and they said they had an artist that they wanted me to produce a song, um, and the song was uh, somewhat, you know, pretty much written, and uh, so I said, okay, yeah, send me, send me the uh, track, um, I would like to take a listen and, and see what I hear, and so they sent that to me, and so what I want to do today is um, take you back in time with me and uh, take you through the steps that I took. So, so sit tight. This is what we're going to do today. Alright, so we got the, the song. The first thing that, that I like to do is to be able to use my ears. Um, I like to be able to hear the track and be able to uh, listen to it. And and um, for me, I, I can hear uh, different things, different instruments and different other things. So many different other um, uh, in the process of just listening. So what I want to do is I'm going to take you through that process and um, let's take a listen to uh, this track.
Even when you can't feel him, there is peace in knowing he's there. Right, so we listen to the track, and of course we see it's that neo style, that that smooth uh, soul style, which I love, and a lot of I'm sure a lot of you love to um, feel. Was it's just that soulful feel. And so when I listened to the track, I had to think about um, the approach, and not just think about it from what I like to hear, but think about the future of the song. Uh, this person is going to have to be able to, in order for people to hear it, they're going to have to be able to perform it. And so if they have to perform it, the, when, you, when you're a gospel artist, most of your performance are sand performance, but you know you have to minister it, I mean, of course. But um, it has to happen in, most of the time in churches. And sometimes we have to think about that process, about it, since this was going to be a single. Uh, we have to make sure that the process in that song needs to be something that he can do in church. Okay, considering that, we know that I had to look at the song. And we notice that the song has a verse at the beginning. Of course, then it had another verse. Then it went from there, I believe. It might have went back to the chorus, but I know it's, at some point there was a bridge in, in the middle. And then after the bridge, there was... Uh, um, it went back to the course and ended the song. And so, um, in that, before I start thinking about instruments and all the other stuff that I want to think about, I had to think of, look at the point that, hey, uh, how can I structure this song in the best way possible? And what I wanted to do is this, uh, when I look at a song, uh, you, you can look at it as an airplane. You, you want the song to get on that runway and take off at the beginning. Um, and once it starts to take off, you want to make sure that the song reaches different heights in the song. And so making sure that it does that. I mean, you, you want that that runway feel when you first get like, I'm really loving this. I'm liking it. When you get to the the bridge, you want the incline to start happening, and when you get to the vamp, you want to be you want to be flying. You know, you really want that because you want people when they get through with the song, they will want to go back and listen to the song over and over and over again. And so I had to look at this song and say, okay, how can I bring that format? This is not the format for every song, but this is the format that I thought would fit this song best. So in other words. I just want to make sure this song didn't have a hard time fitting in different environments. And so when I start to, to, to go back and listen to the demo of the song, there was uh, the feel of the, the drum track. I, I like that and I want to make sure I keep that. So what I went in is uh, I went in and recreated, reprogrammed uh, a similar beat just for the click track to, get the, to drive that feel. And so, um, Definitely, I thought that was uh, where I should start. And so from starting that click track is where I started building uh, most of the other instruments. And we were bringing live instruments to this song. So it's definitely gonna have a different feel. Um, so when we listen to it, I kind of want to keep that feel in there. So, let's see. Started with this 
change it up a little bit, but still, I mean, the format's still the same, different sounds. So again, I'm looking for that nightclub, that old night fashion nightclub, you know, that soulful feel. And I'm gonna have that just keep driving to kind of give us that, uh, that feel for that. So, of course, I want to fend the rows. Um, I want to, you know, definitely want bass. And definitely want some horns and we want some um, some soulful lead sounds and lead guitars and, and those other things and a nice live drum feel to kind of bring that in. And so, and I brought some musicians in and we gave them the direction that I wanted and, you know, they fulfilled that and then I came in and I added some other sounds in with myself, some, some lead sounds and some other things in there. So, this is what it sounds like. This is just the music. So that's the, the idea of it. It still has that kind of a soulful nightclub feel. And, and um, we've got that there in the music. Now I wanted to, to go back and say, okay, how are we going to structure uh, the song? And um, structuring the song, you know, when it comes to the vocals. Because I'd already made the decision when uh, the structure of uh, the song before we even laid the, um, the, the live band you know, the light band down. Uh, I wanted to make sure that we go from, you know, hey, I like the fact how we started with the verse. I liked when the chorus came in. Then there was another uh, verse. And then I believe the chorus came in again. And then um, there was a bridge that was there. And I, I decided to, to, to uh, do a different bridge because I wanted my reason for doing that was not that so much that the, the bridge wasn't good. It was the fact that I want the song to start taking off at that point. And so, and I want to make sure that we can go in deeper with the lyrics, uh, with the words that, that to, to bring in. So I, I wrote the lyrics to the bridge and the lyrics to the, uh, the vamp. Um, but I still wanted to make sure that the course was something that would, still be remembered so before we go into the um after the bridge and went back into the course then we want to fly and you know at the towards the with the vamp and that's the direction we went with it so now background vocals um remember he was saying uh let's see in this there it is So I knew that the, the 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 message there is we want to emphasize on the peace that God is bringing and that He granted. 
but I wanted that to have a little bit more of a feel um, when it came to the um, the part of the course where it's not just too much, but it's not too simple either. So it, it can kind of be uh, that vocal arrangement that helps lift the leader, you know, up. And so I came up with this. We'll just listen to the vocals on this portion of it. So I figured, you know, hey, let's emphasize on it. Peace, peace. Let the peace of the Lord rule your heart. Peace. That way we can get that message there. And so um, let's take a listen to that one more time with the with the music. That's the point that I, I kind of want to emphasize on that course uh, just a little bit more. Um, from there, he'll never leave you by yourself. Even in the worst time, he's a very present. Yeah, so very neo and musically the chords that are going in that you know the, the that cut there um, um, sounds very good, um, but it just I, I, although I love it, I just wanted to make sure that we get something that was going to make sure the song was kind of rising up and not too laid back. So, so I came up with a different um, uh, bridge that I thought that will kind of keep that rising a little bit more. And, and so my idea was to say, hey, you know, we're talking about peace. And so um, what does the Bible have to say about peace? And so I, I thought, I began to think about the fruits of the spirit and as peace was one of the, the, the fruits. And so I thought this would be a good, Time to bring that subject in to meet with the piece that we're talking about at the in the in the front of the song. So this is what we this is what I came up with. That's the bridge, and I felt like it was driving just a little bit just with the music and the vocals happening there. And so, pretty much, it was left to, uh, to I thought, to bring back in the chorus and then bring back in the vamp. And so, I'm going to stop chopping this song up for you and get, let you guys begin to hear the whole song so you, you can catch the vamp and stuff at the beat at the end of it um but then after, after i did that the the bridge the vamp um then it was making sure that the leader was comfortable and trying to make sure that um that uh to me i believe a song everything complements the song and so Bringing the leader in, we just kind of want him to feel comfortable. So the one thing that I like to do is um, 
I'm definitely one of the ones that push the leader into something different, into something uh, better. But at the same time, I want them to be true to themselves as well. So um, I, we like to go in and let them feel the song. Uh, but with the new addition, sometimes it causes uh, it calls for some new techniques. And so we want to make sure that with the background that whatever the lead is doing either they're, he's leading the background into or either the background that they're, they're both staying on the same subject and even when it comes to ad-libs um, it's so important um, so um, making that happen and and also pulling things out of them that they don't know that they had um, is uh, is something that I try to do you want to be able to uh, um, feel comfortable in the environment but still be pushed and so um that's something that uh, I think we did here, and uh, you know, it came out pretty pretty good. So we're gonna let you take a listen to it, to the whole song in its entirety. Tell me so 
guys. Well, there you have it. You made it into my world. This is just one of scenarios. So, hey, thank you guys for uh, tuning in. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. And uh, hopefully you'll come back next go around. Again, before I leave, make sure you guys um, I've been able to answer some questions for some some people. Um, but if you have any questions on things that we would like to have a discussion on in the future, such as the music industry or different things dealing with music or um, how to properly record uh, audio or any type of thing that any type of question that can help help you, um, feel free to comment in the comment session below. And um, I'll definitely I'll always go back through and look at them all. And uh, it's that way that the next uh, discussion session or tutorial or anything that needs to, that has to happen, um, we can um, I can turn around and, and, and address those things, those questions for you. And so, thank you for coming, guys, and uh, thank you for joining in my world with me. God bless you. Until next time, I'm the producer, Damian Merle. God bless. You.